A video I highly recommend any Halo fan to watch is called Deliver Hope. That was a Bungie commercial promoting Halo Reach in 2010 where they had an ad campaign, Remember Reach. The first few times I watched the short movie, I was in complete awe. I first completed Halo Reach in November of 2021 and in the process of creating a Why I Think You Should Play Halo Reach video, I came across Deliver Hope that I will leave a link in the description below. I want to talk about the video, who was Spartan Tom, and also include the Spartan 3s. On April 22nd, 2552, Noble Team was deployed to Fumero to defend the planet from Covenant Invasion. Tom and Cat devised a plan to destroy the battlecruiser, Sanctity of Purification. The opening scene focuses on Lieutenant Commander Catherine that serves as Noble Team's intelligence specialist and goes by Noble 2 and Cat, where she's running with an MFDD, which is an acronym for Medium Fusion Destructive Device. Cat arms the MFDD while running and holding her iconic UNSC pistol. If you have played Halo Reach, you will notice that this acts as her primary weapon. There is chaos everywhere where Cat and other UNSC Marines are running towards a battle as well as elites with their plasma rifle. You get a quick glimpse within Cat's helmet where you see an armed MFDD timer, her movement sensor, and shield bar, just as you would like while in game. The music is suspenseful and grabs your attention as if all hope is lost. You witness UNSC Marines falling in battle as well as Covenant forces. Later you'll see a Banshee launches a plasma bomb near Cat, critically wounding her. Tom arrives shortly after surveying the area where Cat notifies Tom of the armed MFDD. Without hesitation, Tom grabs the MFDD and uses his jetpack to fly towards the battlecruiser through its gravity lift. Tom witnesses a staging area within the battlecruiser filled with Covenant forces before launching the MFDD and attempting to escape, but he's perished with the destruction of the battlecruiser. Tom was a Spartan III that trained with Alpha Company, who were the first Spartan Threes, where he received his designation of Tom 8293. Children were recruited between the ages of 4 and 6, and all were orphaned by the Covenant attacks on various colonies. Unlike Spartan Twos, where the UNSC performed some unethical recruitment process for children, the Spartan III program had children with nowhere else to go and were recruited from orphanages. The Spartan 3 program was created to supplement the Spartan 2s by producing cheap and expendable Spartans. Just like the Spartan 2 program, the Spartan 3 program was a top secret soldier program to help curb the tide of the Covenant onslaught against the outer colonies. Alpha Company formed on December 27, 2553 as they began their training where they received instruction from Lieutenant Commander Kurt Ambrosi. With the original promises from recruiters from their orphanages to enact revenge on the Covenant, Alpha Class graduated to become combat ready in late 2536. Alpha Company took part in several battles as well as quelling an insurrection on Manmoor. Prior to Operation Prometheus, Tom was hand selected and eventually assigned a noble team where he perished. Operation Prometheus occurred in late July 2537, only 9 months after activation where all 300 Spartans from Alpha Company was deployed to the Covenant-controlled asteroid K749, which served as a shipyard to the Covenant. Their primary objective was to disable the Covenant shipyard. Upon landing, initial resistance was light where Alpha Company managed to disable two reactors before the Covenant could properly arrange a counterforce against the attack. Alpha Company neutralized the counterforce and disabled 13 more reactors. By the seventh day, the Covenant had sent a massive army from orbit, which was finally able to deliver an overwhelming crushing blow to the Spartan force. By this time, 89% of the asteroid had cooled down by the destroyed reactors that called the shipyard to permanently shut down. Alpha Company, however, was completely cut off from their extraction craft, preventing the survivors from retreating and fighting until the last Spartan stood. Several Spartans from Alpha Company were transferred out and reassigned to different teams that included most of Noble Team that consisted of Carter, Emil, June, Tom, and Noble Six from the game Halo Reach. Kate was also Spartan 3, but she came from Beta Company. The premise of Deliver Hope is what Halo Reach is all about and a small piece of why I think you should play Halo Reach. Spartans are willing to sacrifice themselves for the greater good of humanity. Deliver Hope instills a powerful message that there is hope, even in situations that seem hopeless. Alright guys, 
I hope you got a little background on Noble Team, watch the trailer of Deliver Hope, and even want to give Halo Reach a reason to play. Catch you guys at the next video.